acquired this Pentax QS1 camera. I think at the time of making this film it's the smallest interchangeable lens camera on the market. It might be small but it's certainly packed with features and despite its compact size it sits nicely in your hand and it's just a nice little snapper that you can uh, put in your pocket and it's got most of the features you'd expect on a full size DSLR uh, but it doesn't have a viewfinder you just use the screen on the back of the camera to uh, monitor the image and to also access the uh, menus it's capable of shooting 12.5 megapixel stills and also takes full HD video at both 30 frames and 25 frames per second my usual setup at the moment for shooting wildlife is to use my Lumix FZ1000 for the main shot and then this Panasonic V510 camcorder with an 80 times enhanced zoom for the more close-up shots. I think the Lumix is a fantastic camera. It's capable of shooting everything from 4K video to 100 frames per second slow motion. And it's also an excellent stills camera too, but uh, recently I've been using this uh, Nikon D300S uh, for the stills, which is a flagship mid-range uh, stills camera. It has video on it, but the video is a little bit weak. A 720p recording with uh, 24 frames per second so I do tend to use this more for stills only with uh, a couple of uh, decent uh, long range telephoto lenses but uh, I became interested in this Pentax because it has a very small 1 over 1 and 1 7 inch uh, sensor so by using this photo Deox uh, F mount to uh, Pentax Q mount adapter I can use the full size DSLR lenses with this tiny camera because the camera sensor is much smaller than a full size DSLR when using DSLR lenses you get a 4.6 crop factor which means if you're using a 100mm uh, DSLR lens it would uh, effectively become the equivalent of a 460mm uh, lens. Basically I want to use the camera for uh, uh, video because it shoots at full HD video at 25 frames per second so for the purpose of the test I'm going to use this Sigma 150mm to 500mm uh, telephoto zoom which will be the equivalent of using uh, 690 to 2300mm which is quite uh, impressive magnification uh, not too much more than I get with the small camcorder but obviously hopefully it's going to be optically much better there's only one problem when you're using these adapters it cuts off all the electronic uh, connection between camera and lens so uh, I've rigged up this piece of uh, Heath Robinson uh, manual aperture adjustment uh, courtesy of this uh, cut off cotton bud shaft just by sliding this up and down I can open and close the lens aperture but the camera does have uh, two stops uh, of adjustment either side uh, that happens in the camera electronically so this is the uh, setup I'll be using and I'll just have to use manual focus but the lens has a nice smooth focusing barrel so that's no problem and I'm off to uh, Summerlee's first thing tomorrow to test it out well here we are at Summerlees, it's uh, pretty gloomy at the moment, the sun's just coming up and I've got the lens set up and so here's some music and look at some of the shots I was able to get with this setup. 